The region is moving on, and Bosnia Herzegovina will have in seven weeks 1,000 kilometers of common borders with the European Union. The region is moving on. Uh, lamentably, Bosnia and Herzegovina, meanwhile, stagnates. One year after another is let down by its political leaders who continue to fail to reach the healthy compromises that are necessary to meet the requirements of Euro-Atlantic integration and to tackle the very serious economic and social challenges facing the country. I invite the representatives of Bosnia. The fundamental reason for the country continuing to lag behind its neighbors is the fact that elected officials and political parties continue to put their own narrow personal and party political interests before the interests of the citizens and the country at large. The fact that the pull of European and Euro-Atlantic integration process have so far not proven strong enough to overcome this should be of concern to all of us and cause for serious reflection on the elements of our united strategy moving forward. And Bosnia and Herzegovina's political leaders and the parties they represent are faced with a choice that is increasingly stark with each passing day. There can be no more excuses and there is no place to hide from their responsibilities. And the choice is simple. They can succeed together or they can fail together. To participate in this meeting, we are well aware of the fact that the basic prerequisites for the building a functional state and society rest on the national reconciliation, building of trust, and ending impunity for all crimes committed. This cannot be achieved without prosecuting all war criminals, regardless of their ethnicity. Even though the initial arrests of indicate war criminals were made by the international military forces, most of the others have been arrested and extradited to International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia in Den Haag by the local authorities.